Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, crusaders of all ages, welcome to Alphabet Kingdom Bingo! Alphabet Kingdom Bingo is a new game mode challenge that I am setting myself where I am going to work through every letter of the alphabet and try to forge in each video as many kingdoms and empires of that letter as possible. Here are the rules. 1. I cannot start as a character higher than the rank of Duke. 2. I have to randomize that character. I have a maximum of 3 random rolls and I must select one of them. If I reach random roll 3, I must take random roll 3. 3 is something that you get to decide, yes. Rule 3 of this series is up to you. You have the choice between either I am not allowed to leave a letter until I have gotten all of the kingdom formations for said letter. Even if it takes multiple runs or videos, and we will score how many runs it takes by the end of the alphabet, or I only have one video per letter, and we will assign points per empire or kingdom, and tally up the total at the end of the alphabet. There is a poll in the description where you can have your say. It is going to be a battle of mental wits and fortitude. Am I up for the challenge? I have no idea. Today's letter is A. So remember to subscribe, like the video if you like the concept, share it around, and leave a comment down below. If you don't have anything to say in the comments, tell me what your favorite kingdom in CK3 is to play as. There is an extended edition of this video available to members. The extended edition will become public on the second channel on New Year's Eve. So if you want to see the extended cut beforehand, why not become a member today? And without further ado, on with the video. You've seen the concept. Now let's roll. So with, this is going to be our letter A. Um, oh. I need to flip a coin. So there are some kingdoms that get locked out by the different start dates. For example, the Dane law, I believe. So I'm going to have to flip my flip a coin each time. <laughs> okay, so this is for letter A. I'm not sure conceptually if I'm going to do a just as many as I can for letter A video or if I'm going to say that I can't move on until I've got all of the A's. So cross is for 1066 in the Crusader timeline. X is for 867. Nope. Got it. 867. Okay. Okay, here's the rule now. I have three rerollers, but I can't be a king or higher. So I have to be the highest I can be as a duke. Now, I've looked at the list of A's, and I really need to be able to try and hit the Ethiopia forward slash the Abbasid region because there's so many A's down here. And then there's also Astorius and stuff in Spain. So, random character one. Oh my gosh. Do I want to risk not being down here? Island area of Hoibo. What is this faith? Oh, sanctity of nature. Oh no. We're probably going to have to make our own faith, aren't we? I think I can't risk not being down here on a reroll. I think I've got to go with this guy. Okay. Hobbyo, let's go. Here he is. Oh, he's quite small. Let's start this off. Area of Hoi Hobbyo. He's 18. He's a mastermind theologian, so he could be good to try and get a new religion. Wakism. All of the centers of reformation are down here, so I can reform my faith out of here. Sacred childbirth is great. It's like DNA nature is shit. Uh, communal identity is good. Witchcraft criminal. Uh, it's a bit of a boring religion, but uh, I can make this work. I can make this work. The other thing is, where is our first identifiable king? Well, we're in an A kingdom. We're in Ajura. So this is perfect, which is uh, Adjuran is like number three on the list. And there's also Abyssinia here. This is the reason I wanted this area is because we've got three kingdoms, Adjuran, Adal and uh, Abyssinia, and then the empire of Adjuran and Abyssinia, both of which are A's. So it's going to be a good A collection in this in this video. Uh, this could not have gone more perfectly. I do have a child already. Abgal, Abgal. Oh my gosh. It's like that. Vi have you guys seen the uh, video of Obu, Obu, Obu? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have Abgal Abgal. Abgal is gonna be the family name. We're gonna keep using the name Abgal. But I must my theologian, but I've got a good amount of intrigue. 
got an awful amount of troops compared to everything near me. I think the first thing I'm going to have to do is try and get some more men at arms. We've got some expensive men at arms and not good men at arms for our region. We don't have mountains, do we? No, we're in drylands. We want cavalry, surely. <gasps> we're tribal. We are tribal, so they're not costing us money. They're costing us prestige. I'm going to hold on to this for a bit and go. We need to be able to make prestige. Okay, learning lifestyle got scientific you know what i am gonna try and go for polar body for a bit i think that's gonna be my go here and now i'm just gonna try to survive let's get married to someone who gets us a lot of prestige that would be good we gain 100 prestige probably the best we're gonna get right we'll marry off i'm gonna take the extra prestige here now we've got 900 prestige this is fantastic and let us uh, i'm gonna just sway my wife i think it's probably the best route there Right, I'm going to rework our... Destroy those. I'm going to get... So do you have Drylands Desert? Okay, you do. We're going to get some Camel Riders. I'm going to upgrade them to a size 2. I know our prestige is taking a little bit of a hit, but that's totally fine. We can use... Oh, so it's money and prestige now to upgrade buildings in tribal holdings? Okay, let's look at our council. Uh, train commanders, because I'm going to want someone probably better than you if I can. This is my father. My father is the chief here. My brother, therefore, is going to become a chief there. He's one years older than me. Who's called? He's in my father's court. So we're, we're okay. Am I a different dynasty? I am. I'm the Abdal dynasty. Who is this? My mother's dynasty or something? No, am I? I'm not a cadet house. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Commander promoted. Yep, yep. 17. That's fine. Holy warrior. Shrewd. Yep. You shall serve me at my castle. Thank you. Uh, people don't like me because of arbitrary and short reign. Oh, arbitrary is a bit of a pain. It's a sin to my religion as well. Oh, are you coming in to raid me? Mm, you are. All right, for now. Can I get an alliance with my father? I can. This is my brother-in-law? I'm going to declare war on him. I know he's um, in my land right now, but I'm going to call in my allies. And we are, we're we're going to go for him while he's here. And I'm going to raise all my troops here. Hopefully make him move away because he's currently stuck in a raider's stance. Hopefully my father comes to war. He does. He does. He does indeed. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling a little confident now. Oh, gosh. My wife's brothers are all count. All of these people are my wife's brothers. Interesting. 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 Which one's my, what's my natural duchy? Oh, I'm split between two. So this is Mogadishu. I want to try and hit. Who are you? My cousin. God, we're all related down here. Our first son's always going to be called Abgol. Abgol. Darude is going to have to be the second son because, oh my gosh, we can be an absolute sandstorm coming through. Good, 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 good. Why? It's kind of annoying that everyone is related down here. I just realized I gained a lot of piety because my level of faith went up. I was like, when a child is born, we gain piety. How is the power sharing? Yes, it is Confederated Partition. Okay, so we are going to have to... Oh boy, wars are going to get real, real sticky. We need to try and take land. I think we're going to go for Mogadishu down here. Because we need to make a duchy so that it all remains, you know, kind of within us. Hello, ally. I'm just going to have to be a real, real warmonger right here. And that's the way we got to do it. Yeah, the combat modifier here is because it's just us. Or, yeah, no, they're... They want to stand in the mountains, that's fine by me. We'll just start sieging. Who are you? A fan is currently the cultural head for Somali. Yeah, what do we get from Somali? Trade ports, mountain skirmishing, and recruit horn warriors, men at arms. Cool culture. What are horn warriors? Slightly better life for them. For the same price? Why not? Oh, instead of Tajir hills and jungle, it's mountains, desert, and hills. Oh, yeah. I want to switch out of those instead of that. armored footmen. There's 100% on that wall. Fine by me. I think I might do that, you know. I have a better size for cheaper. Okay, we're going to go for a Hiramburger now. And hopefully, I'll be able to make the Dutch. I don't know if I need all the provinces. If I need all the provinces, my brother, who is now in charge here, will... Oh, God, I forgot to call in allies because I'm talking. Oh, brother, brother, reinforcing time. Yes, brother. Damn it. I was trying to sway my brother's uh, spy master. And she sadly passed away. Let's sway the new spy master, I guess. No particular reason. I can become the Duke of Mogadishu. I'm a mighty Gerard. Should probably move my capital here. Try and keep Mogadishu. Cool. Tribal stuff. So I vassalized my brother because I had the opinion to. And then he's declared a war, taking a piece of land. But someone else was also fighting for that land. 
So they're now fighting me, and I'm still testing mystical practices. I now have dangerous habits. Oh, good. Incestuous. Really? My shaman isn't the one that just made me seem incestuous. Go away. Game, thanks for that. Yeah, I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to murder my brother's kid. Just, we want to... I want to be able to give the... Oh, no. Somebody found out. Oops. Anyway. Bon appetit, child. An unfortunate accident. So we have our first dynasty pick. So I'm trying to work out what I want to go for. Obviously, better warriors is just going to be quite good in expansion. I think I'm going to go blood for once. I don't often do a bloodline purity thing. However, just where we are, I think actually just having genuinely good characters is going to help us out a lot more than any of the other aspects. At least right now. Glory is also a decent one. Oh, yeah, the monthly prestige gain from renowned name could actually be very good. Now I'm going to undo myself. I'm going to go renowned name for the prestige. Right, with the taking of Nugal here, if I can do it without dying too badly, I should be able to create the kingdom. We should have enough uh, stuff. Although he took more land over here. Sneaky. But it should be enough provinces to, well, should be enough provinces to make this northern duchy, then I can create the kingdom. Instant war. Good. Fantastic. Boom. Done that. Now we should be able to create the duchy, which we can. Oh, wait, no, no. I need to create the kingdom first. Don't, people, don't make your son. Boom. There we are. It's our first A complete. Yes. Azuran. So I, I apparently did a very tactical marriage. This woman here, her daughter became Adal, and Adal is married to my son, so it's all in line for Iri Abgal here, is eventually going to take a lot of territory over here. It's going to be quite powerful, so uh have got to be careful on that, actually. Okay, a couple of murders later, and Jared Asila of Adal is now in charge of both the Horn and here, which means my family should be in line to inherit. But ironically now, is my best friend, but I should try and murder my son, which I can't do. He might be able to do it when I am my own son. Uh, I'm gonna sell this out. Don't need it. Crowning a holy order, I don't want to do because I want to change the religion first. This is even better. She'll actually just vassalize. Boom! That's fantastic. Now is my realm gonna split into two kingdoms? Not currently. Good. Oh no, I'm gonna be dead within a year, and I'm one province away from making the empire of Ajaran. This is kind of bad. Can I do anything to stave off my death? Probably changing that small health bonus maybe will be enough. I'm 71, so it's been a very, very good life. Okay, okay. One province, I should be fine. I just need the money now. i uh, give you that. Oh, no, I need a second kingdom title. Ow, I couldn't make it anyway. Ow, ow. You're going to be a f***ing problem for me, aren't you? And there it goes. Iria of Azuran, our first character, has given up the ghost at 70 years of age. He died of old age. For having tasted the forbidden fruit of incestuous love. No, he never did. It wasn't. That's rumors. Lies. Slander. As he will surely suffer in the afterlife. Oh, good. Uh, I'm now the 54-year-old Abgol. So the new character got themselves the overseer trait, which is kind of good, and as well as never back down. My problem right now is familial opinions. Oh, no, wait, what? Oh, no, wait, what? He got out of Azuran as a kingdom. Uh, do I? I do have a claim. He's got more troops than me. Hang about a bit. We might have to do some, some worry war. Hmm, I think it's time to do some worry war. What? Oh, I will. I instantly died. I died in my sleep. Okay, now we're a young guy. Trying this again. We just got renowned name, giving us that 10% extra prestige as well as extra knights and available accolades up. Uh, yeah. And we're now the young Mansur. Very good commander. Really bad stats. I kind of don't want to have kids with him because I think I'd rather be. Islan Abdul Abdul. I think he's going to be the better kid. Okay, we are going to try and now take the kingdom of Outer Azuran because the old guy died and now uh, his grandson's in charge. One of my vassals is currently fighting for this as well. I think with Outer Azuran as well, we will be able to make the empire which will be our first empire off the list. Now, the real issue with this start, obviously, is we're going to try and get as many A's as possible, right, with this playthrough. That means we need to try and hit 
Pistorius, Aquitaine, we're still down here. Right, let's enforce those demands and boom. But there's no waiting around. We're going to create the Empire of Azuran, which is our first Empire off the bingo card. So we're currently doing our first war against Abyssinia. We are going to want to take that kingdom, but we're actually going for a province that's naturally a Dal. That will hopefully allow us to make the kingdom of a Dal and create a sub kingdom within the empire. You hate me. I really need this guy to like not hate me. Counselors hating me is not a good thing. Leads to murders, like a lot of them. Right, the Kingdom of Adal. Time to create that. That's another A off the list. Fantastic. We're about to get gavel kind at very least. We're very, very close to having that. Um, and in that vein, I've switched to scholarship focus now that I've got uh strategist and the first two on gallant. I'm probably gonna go down the Do I go whole of body then, scholar? I'm 40. Oh, I'm a bleeder. I'm not gonna be around that long unless I don't go whole of body. I think I need to at least see my kids to at least one of them to adulthood, the main one to adulthood. So I might have to go hold a body for a little while. Oh, apparently one of my family members took Scorta and uh, Adal just died. So it's split between her sons. So we've got Scorta and have, have fun, have fun, have fun, which is uh, actually probably better for me. Less of a power block over here in Adal. Oh no, I died. I died. Um, I am now a kid and I've got a son in... Uh, my son just unlanded my, my uncle, previous uncle. God, it just unlanded a lot of our family members. That's going to be interesting. Boy, this is not good. I need my... Uh, my council or oh, hate me. That's not good. Here it goes. I will not be threatened. It's wartime. Oh, come on. That, why did that battle go so badly? Can you walk there? Thank you. Right, I need to reset all these filters. We're going to go for Alliance Powder. Who's the Prathy Kingdom? You know what? Yep, I'm going to marry my... Betroth myself to someone of the Prathy Kingdom. I think you're over here, right? Yeah. Hey there. Yeah, I'm going to need some help here. Got some vassals being uppity. God, we just... Oh, God, we're taking so much attrition. Oh, and I'm, I'm apparently ill. He just stole my armor that I can't wear yet. Are you kidding? Was it this guy that stole them, the, the armor? Killer and I missed. Oh, no. Not the serial killer events. I think it was you that stole the armor, right? Oh, my God. Why do you hate me? I didn't revoke your title. I'm definitely going to go learning, I think. And I think I'm going to go piety again. Because I want to go down the theologian route, I think. Try and create our own religion. All right. Um, so my brother, I think, just dethroned me for the empire. Hmm, that's not good. He's taken the kingdom of Azuran, even though he has none of the land in Azuran. I didn't know people could challenge you for the throne with our religion. That's a problem. Oh, he is the empire. So yeah, no, it does work. He's stealing everything from me now. I, I, for some reason, I'm now in a war against the tyranny against my brother as well. Sorry, what? I didn't declare this, but I'm apparently the attacker. It just happened. All right, calling my ally in. All right, I finally sorted this war. Look at my allies here. Right, I've won this war against the tyranny. Grant him a pardon, you know? Revoke region title. I've still got this entrenched regency. You can use all the piety I'm gaining anyway. Well, at least we're kind of back and solidified to get... Oh, God, this is a mess. My last remaining brother died actually without me interfering. He just died of his wounds that he received. Oh, I think it was because he was a flagellant. Yeah, he died of self-flagellation. I am going to pretend he died of autoerotic mm -hmm. asphyxiation. What in the trade republic has happened to... Oh, oh, oh my gosh. That's not what I thought. It's not a trade republic. Venice was taken by freaking a chieftain. Oh, God. What is this map? I've been sat here trying to save up piety. But I forgot, if you go the theologian route, you get 50% off creation. This is going to be the faith. And it's going to be wackism. New faith, let's go. Got a lot of conversion to do. So now that we've reformed the religion, I've just done a little bit of a tour of my lands to make my vassals like me. A little bit of a grand tour. Uh, I've done my old Jeremy Clarkson. And now I'm going to try and invade Abyssinia. We're doing a Holy War CB for Abyssinia here. Whilst it's in turmoil, this will obviously give us a lot of land, but also will be another A off our list of A's, eh? A. A. Oh, the game is giving me the opportunity to have this kid take over as the heir. If I switch him to learning education, I think he'd be amazing. Gonna lose three opinion with people, but no, I'm doing it. 
I can't risk his story being untold. Okay, and with this battle here, we should win the war that I'm fighting. No, 99%. I think we need to like siege down one more province possibly. Right, we just gained loads of territory, which I now have the imponderable joy of working out. Oh yeah, and hey, that's um that's another kingdom on my kingdom list. Boom! Oof, there he goes. Abdul Abgul Abgul of Ajaran has crossed the lines of war. We now have Hak. We have probably got to sort out our council massively yes because we have the various brothers and uncles and everything everywhere oh no the right for ajaran belongs to islan abgul 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 of hyobo i will not be threatened my wife come with any nope can i betroth my son off reset default alliance power give me a decent ally i'm going to need it hopefully yeah this one's still in I was trying to win this brother some territory to head back to Mogadishu. And uh, I'm going to call my ally in. Uh, Warfar, Islam, Abgul, 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 Abgul's claim. Been having fun with the Abguls. I decided the Adolian king needs to actually die. I need the prestige from being that king. Independence of Damot. No, I will not be threatened. Right, one brother down. Oh, this one's much harder to kill. Nope, maybe not. I need to tell you to support my schemes, sister of mine. Where'd my ally go? They off back to their own territory. Oh, they did. We get honors just now, but uh, bon appetit. Damn it, he survived it. So annoyingly, these guys were bloody sieging each other down. And that's flipped loads of the war score during, you know, thingy being not mine. Oh dear, scraping the barrel on the council right now. Oh, I think they're coming for me. Oh, Aram, the spear. Christ, how come they've got so many troops all of a sudden as well? Why is the scheme ended? Sorry, why did the scheme end? Oh, it's now a war against the tyranny because he did die. Okay, this guy has got Abyssinia as well. Yeah, no, this brother needs to die. It really doesn't help that my ally was just dowed on. I was been deposed. Oh, I've been deposed. I'm now the child. Now he's trying to put my father back in charge. So basically right now, the AI is in control of my nation while I wait for them to die. But the problem is they're very, very good. I found out... Um, my father managed to go feudal, so I'm going to go feudal. The really annoying thing is my liege is very good. The guy I wanted to be playing is this guy. It's like I'm playing his son for a while. Oh, this game is getting to my nerves now. Look, my father got overthrown as emperor by the woman who owned Isles of Azuran, but now she's losing land in the north. So I'm currently in a war against the tyranny because she tried to revoke my title. Hopefully this will then usurp her to being usurped by my father. I'm waiting for my allies to get over. I'm severely in debt. It's going badly. Oh, she's had an heir now. Ugh. Oh, we beat her. Oh, we beat her. Am I the emperor again? No, I'm just the king of Azuran. Who is the emperor now? The child. Oh, it was going to be my father before. Time to do a whole host of weird things. Also, didn't get any money for that war. Are you kidding? Okay, my father's back in charge. A couple of murders later. My father is now my rival. Well, oh no, my father died. Right, time to actually freaking sort all this out. Holy sh shockeroo. Right, let's adopt feudal ways for sure now. So, I've just taken a couple of hours break. I've been thinking about this while I watched the D&D &D movie. I think... Even though I'm a military guy right now, I can't economically, we are what? I need to better the economy. And I've just looked at Mogadishu. Not only is it our, you know, duchy capital, but we can put a grand temple here. And I think I'm going to try and save up for the grand temple because that's going to do so much for us. The cost is reduced pretty heavily, but the extra one flat tax and 10% tax, plus all this night effectiveness. Yeah, I think, I think this is how we fix our economy. Okay, time to build the Grand Temple. I'm also 300 prestige away from reforming our religion, where I'm going to add by the sword. So I'll hopefully be able to do any number of holy war, kingdom level holy wars. I want. That's kind of the play of how I'm going to climb my way into this area. Okay, we have uh, 7,000 prestige. We should now be able to, go, I believe it's ritual by the sword. Yes, establish the by the sword tradition it'll be 30 years it will happen during my next character's lifetime but still that's gonna be very clutch i am gonna do something stupid i'm gonna attack the arabian empire and i'm gonna try and holy war the kingdom of arabia because that's another a off our list and it will uh oh the realm will expand big time this is going surprisingly well 
Oh dear god, what am I gonna do with all this land? Oh look, there's the Arabic army. Yeah, you don't know what's gonna hit you, Mr. Mr. Khalif. Also, Africa. Thank you for getting so close to me. Uh, that's gonna be a fun one to invade as well. Sunnis are gonna be very upset that I'm gonna be taking their holy site over here. Oh boy, oh boy. Got siege one more location. I'm gonna pick this place here. Oh, no, I don't need to. Didn't take as much as I thought I would. Well, anyway, that's another kingdom. Arabia off the list. Four kingdoms beginning with A in one playthrough so far. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm dying. Uh, I have no idea how this realm is going to split. These succession markers aren't very clear. This guy's getting Abyssinia and Dharma. No one's getting Arabia because I haven't stolen it. That's where I've got the kingdom of Arabia. Heh. <laughs> oh, no, it needs to be recreated probably get recreated on my succession here and just as i'm about to die i will not be threatened by you so i died i'm my my marijuana addicted gay son who has one son who turned out to be pretty okay i can definitely work with this when it comes around i can make that work so uh i'm gonna have to clean up some messes turns out one of my brothers did get a kingdom title over here except they've put it's the one that was over here Oh, gonna have to murder him, I think. Really? No agents? Wow, no agents. So I need another ally, and I think I'm gonna have to marry my son off to this child here. Her father being <laughs> the Maharaja Bodja the Child Killer of the Punjab. Um, oh, damn, he is at war, though. Could be a problem. I'm gonna see if I can offer a white piece. I can, good. Oh, no, I was off helping allies, and I'm just got declared on by Lastra. Oh, he's converted to Sunni. Oh, oh no. And it's Greek. Oh, wait, this has been taken over by the, the people in charge of Nubia. We've also gone Sunni. And this is, this is a holy war. Luckily, it's for like one province, but like this could be bad. Okay, we just smashed them in a mountain combat here. And now we are sieging the capital of Lastra, one of our brothers just died. So we're going to force this holy war to fail. Good. I'm glad we won that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the battle contract for you. Hello, Abyssinia. You are sanctioned for war and forced partition. So you can take land, but it will split. This might come back to bite me, but I'm going to create one very powerful vassal of a family member here to be the king of Arabia. Dealing with that whole area is going to be your job. Done. Oh no, I'm a child. My son died before I did. So I'm now my grandson and I've got and my realm split. Okay, no. It's fine. We got this guy. He's nine. This guy, he's three. Probably got yeah, I've been in completely empty council. Okay. And I lost the patronage of the holy order because Oh, there was another one. Oh, I tactically betrothed myself to Arabia's daughter and moved him out of the ability to join factions because he's an ally. Smart move. Gonna have some incest babies, probably, but needs the empire. Hello, everybody. It's a new day for me. So I'm about to declare war on the Sultanate of Egypt. This could go really badly. So I'm gonna do a holy war for the kingdom of Egypt. That being said, it's a big territorial expansion. Now, my whole goal, I think, uh, to just to catch you up, my family in Oman took Yemen. I made them the king of Yemen. So we now have a couple of kings over here. Basically, if I can take Egypt, I should be able to form the Empire of Arabia. And that should allow me, therefore, to hold on to this area a lot more. So whilst we might end up having to deal with quite a lot of rebels and stuff in, in this region for a little while, I think it's the best bet. So let's try. So I'm hoping to raise my armies here and I want to rush their capital, not get this into a prolonged, dragged out war. The Abbasids joined, or what's left of them. We're gonna siege this down. Also, I so like that I make money while at war now, without being avaricious or anything. Capture the capital already, which is nice. I'm gonna take a combat, this would be epic. Oh, hello. Oh, they've got so much cavalry. Where's my allies? Oh, he just got here, with some of his troops anyway. Trying to grab supply. I swear my ally had more troops than 6,000. Yeah, he's got 16,000. What's only six of them over here? Excuse you. He's not giving me all of his troops. And my allies just dived into the combat and lost. Massively. That's like all of them just got wiped out lost. This ain't good. These guys got a lot of cav. I need to get some spears in my retinue, I think. 
Why did you hire down here and not at the rally? Oh, because the rally flag's been sieged down. Oh. Okay, here goes. I'm hoping we win this combat here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what you like to see. That's what you'd like to see. Hey, I lost the consumption. All right, we can go back to sieging down that capital. Oh, we captured him. Oh, there's going to be a lot to sort out. Ajaran looking good now. No, we are five counties off. Ah. Right, let's do a little bit of a land grab for those four provinces that we need to make the empire again. Okay, time to create the Arabian Empire. Boom, done. There's another empire from our empire list. And with two small holy wars, we should now be able to create a third empire beginning with A. And yes, there we go. Abyssinia, that's, I believe, all the natural empires beginning with A on our list. Done. That's fantastic. I need to double check if there's any special empires. But again, I don't know if we'll be able to do those in this run anyway. Maybe there's an empire of Africa if you unite Africa. Yeah, we're going to try and take Africa, which will be another kingdom for our kingdom list. I've identified that there is an A down here somewhere, and there's a couple of A's in India. So India I'm doing diplomatically right now, and I'm going to see where I can get with that. So I can kind of ignore India as well. This is a big pool of my alliances generally. Anyway, while I focus my conquests to be here, obviously grabbing Andalusia, Anatolia, near the A's I can find here. Annoyingly, one of the A kingdoms is up here. I don't think I'm going to get that one purely for my own sanity. Aedis, which was the, the gay guy, really good. Lived to 92. Yeah, now I'm his one of his sons. I disinherited a lot of the other sons. One of whom I gave Egypt. One of them I gave... Blum. Nubia right now has fallen back to the Asharism, which is really annoying. We cleaned up Africa. It's uh, looking good right now. Gotta try and deal with Sound next. They're gonna be bloody difficult to try and take apart. And oh, this is an A kingdom. Are they on my list. They are. My character is about to die. But before then, I'm gonna make some royal gardens. So I've got some problems right now. There's currently a jihad for the Sultan of Persia, which I got pulled into because apparently one of my vassals took a portion of Persia. So that's going on. The Catholics have just turned around and said, hey, we're also going to crusade you because you have the Kingdom of Jerusalem. I think I've got like three provinces of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. So I'm currently gearing up for the defense and uh, it's going to be a fun one. Crusade for Jerusalem. Oh, fuck, that's a lot. Wait, can I not call my wife in? Only members of my faith can join. Oh no, my entire faith are my vassals. Okay, no, okay, the vassals are automatically joining themselves. Okay, this should be fine. Wait, it's also attacking the, the Sunni here at the same time? Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, this is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is just like horde wave survival and hoping all the AI gets in at the right position. Good, I'm glad I'm gallant so I can end this early, but... Jesus, go away. Call to war. Is this my wife? Uh, it is my wife. Okay. Don't know what you're doing, wife. And I've died. No. Uh, at least I'm a young guy now. Um, the very decent character, Umadin. Not as cool on the stats. I'm a military dude. So, uh, conquests, I guess. There's a crusade for Egypt. I'd like to see you try, Pope Man. I'd like to see you try also. We're beating up the Byzantines for Anatolia. Another one of our things. And so begins the crusade for Egypt. The Mongols are here. Now, this could be a good thing. If I can get someone in the family in charge of the Mongol Empire, I could claim some of the A titles up there, perhaps. This might be helpful. Just grabbing myself an Armenia. Uh, this is... Uh got many lovers with this character. So I, if you're wondering about my money, oh my god, taxation tours are insane when you've got kings as your vassals. I, I'm, honestly, I'm, with the amount of, I think I'm going to save it for another video, forward slash do a different video on it, but the amount of money you make on taxation tours is ridiculous once you hit a threshold. Like, they cost a lot, but you make tenfold back, plus my income now when I don't have troops raised, is like almost 250 a month. It's just like absolutely fantastic. There's Armenia. Boom, boom, boom. I need to find someone to be in charge of Armenia. Okay, so session three, starting off by dying and getting assassinated, shedding this portal coil. Uh, so yeah, I'm now 
Abgul, Abgul, Abgul the second. And my empire just split in half, which probably means the Mongols are going to come for me. I'm going to try and murder my half-brother here, who my father managed to have at like 81 years old to his... It was 36? Well, she was older than that. She came up infertile, but um, apparently... Apparently a baby happened. I've almost got Africa. The Probably the next thing you'll see will be me grabbing all of Africa. I've got to try and get Scotland. Luckily, France here just exploded, so getting to... I might try and assault into Aquitaine sooner rather than later. The Mongols are a threat. What better way to take Scotland than to not take Scotland at all and invade all of England? Oh, the poor English. I don't know what I hit them. Yep, English countryside is gonna be mine, I think. Support armies. Let's gather up and go, shall we? Just leave one army sieging. Let's have the rest of this stack stuff. Chasing them down. In the bleak midwinter. There you go. There you go. Hang on. That did not tell me that the Mongols had invaded. Well, this is going to be fun. I'm uh, going to go get myself ready to deal with some Mongols. The Mongols just never showed up for this war. So I'm just going to siege them down until it hits night. Legit, they just have not shown up for this war. Uh, and now the war has instantly started again. The Mongols exploded. That's useful. No more big threat in the over there. I've been cleaving my way through this area. Now, Asturias and uh, Andalusia both don't exist as titles anymore. I'm going to count it if I take the entirety of Espania, like Spain, Iberia. Iberia, that's the word I was going for. That I get those. They've used the decision to combine titles. It's all gone a bit weird down there. That there's like three empire titles down there now as well, rather than just Iberia. So I think that the struggle kind of caused a struggle there. I've taken Alba. Scotland's also been dealt with. I think I'll call it when I can get Aquitaine, Iberia, and Africa. I think that's going to be the marker. So... We're invading... Which islands are these? Are these the Balear? No, Balearis are in the thing. This is the... Uh, Tenerife is the... These islands. I can't remember what islands these are. These islands are the last things I need to unite Africa. So we're going to unite Africa. Oh, and also, uh, my son's of age. I need to tell him not to be a warrior, lest he die in combat mysteriously. <gasps> The peoples of Africa are proud, brave, and strong. Yet so many are misled and worship false gods. The time has come to unite them all under under what? Unite Africa. We need a screenshot of that to, for the uh, thumbnail. One Africa. Gain the nickname the Unifier of Africa. So I'm now Abgul, Abgul, Abgul the second, the Unifier of Africa. Uh, we gained Aquitaine as well. Just trying to finish off Iberia. And then I think we're going to be done, friends. So close. Holy moly, the Kingdom of Asturias does exist in two provinces. I was wrong. I can grab this one. So uh, about maybe not getting into the north. A little long-term plan just came into fruition. I've been marrying random members of my family off into Mongolia for some time. And then when it broke apart, actually, someone whose heir was of my family, this guy, managed to get one of them and then I murdered him in charge of the others. And there's actually a small chance that my family get in charge of this, which means I might be able to manipulate it so I get in charge of Mongolia and add it to Ajaran. Do I hold out for that? I think maybe. Oh, God damn it. I was murdered. Ah! Okay, this is going to slow me down. Got a crusade for England to beat back. But uh, I've had a thought. Uh, Mongolia exploded again. It's now child in charge. But I can claim his title because I'm ahead of the house. We're going to get ourselves up there. Oh, uh, here comes the horde. Time to deal with as many of these small stacks before they land as possible. Doesn't help that England seems to internally be on fire as well. This is annoying. This is it. Uh, uh, three days later. There is only one kingdom we didn't get. Okay, technically there's three kingdoms we didn't get. Hold on, let's, let's quickly change my nation's color just so you can see where we are. We're going to be hot pink, dear God. So, the three locations that we didn't get. Andalusia, Aragon, because it was renamed to Saraquesh. Technically this is Aragon, so I'm going to count it as green. Someone put a tick mark next to that. And Austria because it's a special formation tag that I don't know if we can do in the start date we're in, but either way, I have also done the AEIOU achievement anyway, so I'm going to count it. I have now got every A. I think that's it. 
This is the m stupidest empire I've ever made and probably the longest I've ever spent recording one video. This video is going to have both a director's cut on the mods channel coming out after the shorter version that's on the main channel. If you're seeing this, hello, shorter version. Members on this channel, you you've also probably seen the director's cut because it it's a members only video. So maybe become a member today. I've been Midgeman. This has been A is for Azuran. Join us next time where we have to go through B and oh God, oh God, B is even bigger. Uh, wow, wasn't that fantastic? You've just had the utmost imponderable joy of watching a Midgeman video. Thank you to my editors, Foxy and Dax, for being absolutely wonderful cherubs and helping make all of this content. And thank you to the channel members. You know who you are, you wonderfully sexy toast people you are. Why not check out this video? It's been picked for you by the YouTube algorithm. Goodbye! <laughs>